Hi, this is Melanie of Pardesi Reviews, and I'm back with Kathy of Cinemana Podcast. We're going to do a little bit different um, trailer reaction. The film is called How Is That for a Monday? The uh, director of the film sent me the link to this YouTube um, teaser. I think the movie comes out in October. But anyway, okay. this is the way it is described on IMDb. A tale of how a fateful Monday changes the lives of a billionaire, a gang of amateur thieves, an old man, and an immigrant techie that touches the subjects of racism, police brutality, and class differences on a satirical note. That's a lot. That is a lot. That is wow. packing in a lot there. That sounds like a film festival description. <laughs> <laughs> they give you the very basics. They All give right. You, give you the whole thing. That I mean, but I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. I have too. Right there. Sounds like a good so, clash of characters. Yeah. And I think it's set set in America. So that's also oh, really interesting. interesting. So about um, an Indian immigrant caught up in something in america so okay all right so oh yes it says it's shot in orange county which is about oh, it's shot in orange county. yeah interesting okay that is all really right. interesting all right yeah. so um we are going to watch this if i can figure out how to set it up okay. <laughs> and let me check the volume go okay Fucker's not answering. <laughs> He's not here. Are you sure you've been watching the place? Just tell me where he is. I'm not running away, right? You think we are stupid? You're a little tired, I'm going And if two million is not enough, then you ask me for more. Get out of my sight before I decide to put a hole in your head. favorite part right there that was fantastic oh my god that was that so was my favorite part <laughs> <laughs> the opening scene i loved where they just have has I almost already like been quite ended. the scandalous year oh, with on. some cases <laughs> i'm trying to switch it off no, that opening scene, I love. It almost could have been the teaser, like a super teaser, if they just showed him a scene and they just go, the "Fuckers not answering." Done. <laughs> End of story. I will love that too. But this look, yeah. you know, it's it felt so much like LA to me. Just the quality of the light, everything about it felt like I could tell it was in LA. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. It just has that feel. Just look like a movie shot in Los Angeles. We do so many here. <laughs> so. Well, yeah. I mean, you said it said it was filmed in Orange County, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I mean they've got obviously. I mean, there's no faces that I recognized. I don't know if you recognized yeah. anybody. Mm -hmm. um, don't think but I did. I mean, that, that's the movie town where you got a lot of up and coming actors that probably would love to be <laughs> in a small independent film. They would love to be. And I didn't catch, but obviously, it has played at a lot of film festivals. So oh, I don't cool. know if this is going to get any kind of film released around me, um, but. Oh my gosh, the the budget it says was an estimated. Oh wait, is that how much box office it's earned? Is seventy two thousand dollars? There's no way that the budget for the whole thing could be that. But um, might be. I guess it could be. <laughs> like it, I, it looked pretty low budget. <laughs> if you have a bunch of friends that are willing to be in the movie with you, exactly. <laughs> it's for your actor reel. <laughs> Yeah, That's what they were um, but the main um, character at the end, I'm not sure which actor, if it's um, Kashik Gantasala, if that this kind of the first Indian looking name that I'm seeing on the list on IMDb. But um, I thought he, <laughs> I love the ending. <laughs> it was 
<laughs> ending was fantastic. It just looks like a fun, like a, a kind of cool, quick caper. moving kind of crime story. A uh, caper. Exactly. It just has that feel like someone knows somebody, you know, there looks like there might be some mistaken identity there. Right. You know, it's, it's the usual like fun, quick moving kind of like you said, caper kind of movie. It was fun. I mean, the opening and the opening scene, last scene were fantastic. If that vibe goes yeah. through the whole thing, I would love it. <laughs> well, I mean, it definitely has. I mean, I don't know if it's as violent as, but it has sort of that quirky Qu Quentin Tarantino kind definitely. of vibe yes. to it, right? It totally of like, is. Of like somebody's in the middle of some crime yeah. thing and yeah. They're in <laughs> and over their heads. And you have all <laughs> these crazy characters and oh. yeah. <laughs> very fun. It looked really cute. I think, you know, some of the actors look like they were really good. It was hard to tell. I mean, it was cut very fast. Yeah. Um, but I think they set up, you know, it looked like a, you know, genuine, you know, good environment. It just felt like some, they were living in it. It felt yeah. real. And yeah, know, it, it had a good vibe to it. I did think they did a pretty good job on that. So I, I if it doesn't come to streaming, or I mean, if it doesn't come to a theater yeah. near me, which I, you know, I don't know. Uh, I mean, right now I'm in Colorado, so <laughs> it's hard for me to even hard for me to find even some of the biggest films to play here. Yeah. So I hope that it does get picked up by a streaming service because it's definitely mm -hmm. a 90 minute uh, caper movie like this. I think definitely would be um, a fun watch. So I hope. Totally. I hope I'll be able to get to see it at some point. I know. I mean, All they right. need content. <laughs> One of the actors apparently was an NCIS, so that's not bad. Oh, really? Oh. I mean, I mean, probably guest appearance, but still, so still, people are trying. It's a hard business. <laughs> It's hard to make it in the business. It's hard. Uh, All right. And let me show you, because uh, Kathy, uh, uh, for those that don't know, sh her day job is to <laughs> is to make movie posters. So I love um, looking at movie posters. The ah. one movie poster that I found is this. Interesting. Which, okay, so. I, okay, I love this because it That's looks funny. like it looks like a guy who got fired or something. Yeah. And he's loading up his box of office stuff. But it looks like a very. Does it look like a fancy car, or is the is the? It trunk? looks looks like a nice car. But the trunk looks very small, but yeah. um, the uh, it's also booted, so it looks like one of those like okay, so it says this way out, and he's going. He's like you said, fired. His car is booted, so it's like Monday. Oh, what are you gonna I didn't do? Even notice the Monday. The car. So he's having a really bad day. Yeah, you know okay. what you do when you're having a bad day? You do dumb shit like get involved with criminals. That's what you do. <laughs> So that's probably what happens. He probably has to pay someone. So he, I got to get a loan from some cheesy guy. And then I can't really tell what any of the documents say. There might be some clues in there, but he also has a backpack, which is interesting. So yeah, I, poor yeah, guy. I love, well, I love the title too. How is yeah. That? I mean, that's a great title. It's a really good title. <laughs> oh, and also the bird's about to poop on him. You can see the bird. Has oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, a crow, which is bad luck. So he's having a very bad day. I was like, why are you power line and i didn't even know <laughs> i didn't even notice the the uh, bird at first you're right there's a lot of second read in this poster <laughs> there's a lot going on <laughs> very funny it looks like a full-on comedy though like yeah. i would not get uh, any kind of crime caper from it so it looks like they were trying to go for that sort of you know ironic kind of funny you yeah. know bad luck day kind of movie <laughs> which it is that's really funny all right, thanks Very for joining cute. me for this quick yeah. uh, trailer reaction, Kathy. Uh, you can obviously find her on Cinemata Podcast. And oh, I could hide this so we could see our faces. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you can find me as well on Twitter slash X at ProdaisyYT and on Threads, Blue Sky, and Instagram at ProdaisyReviews. <laughs> Bye, Kathy. Bye.